welcome to week four of the five weeks to run a 5k program. This week you will get to put the past three weeks of work to the test. I'm Samantha Clayton, Director of Fitness at Herbalife and I'm very excited to guide you through this exciting week of our running program. This week it's important to train hard and rest well. We will step up our running intensity by incorporating more dynamic running intervals. Because you'll be pushing yourself toward that level 10 feeling, it's vital that you listen to your body. You want to work hard and get the most out of the training, but never push yourself to exhaustion. With only two weeks remaining before race day, now is not the time to get hurt or come anywhere close to wanting to quit. Follow your selected program closely and be sure to rest on the set rest days so that you can maximize your training and recovery. This week, I want to show you a great core strengthening move that you can use to help loosen up your entire body. A plank walkout can be modified in steps to both strengthen and stretch your body at the same time. Stand with your feet hip distance apart. Stretch your arms up overhead and bend forward placing your hands on the floor. Walk your hands out until you are in a plank position, ensuring that your wrists are directly underneath your shoulders and your body is flat and core tight. Hold for a few seconds, then return to the starting position. To add in a great groin stretch, step your right foot toward your right hand and hold. Then repeat this on the other side. To further advance this move and stretch the back and torso, simply lift one arm up toward the sky. When your right foot is forward, you are lifting up your left hand. Another great move that you can work on this week is simply standing on one leg with no shoes on. When you challenge your balance, the small muscles in your feet and ankles have to work hard to minimize any wobbling. Many coaches believe that the more you are able to strengthen these stabilizer muscles, the less energy you'll waste with each stride from any slight wobbling and the faster your overall pace will be. This week when you're running, I want you to focus on foot speed. Note, this is not the speed that your foot hits the ground, but how quickly you can lift it back up. You can work on it with a drill like this, or practice it during your runs by simply being aware of how much time your feet make contact with the ground. When you think about it, the less time each foot spends on the ground, the more time will be spent moving forward. Our nutrition focus this week will require that you use the knowledge that we discussed in previous weeks. Good overall nutrition, hydration and quality protein are essential for good performance. The training programs of weeks one and two rely on and improve upon your body's use as stored fat as a fuel source. Week three was a crossover week where we required both your aerobic and anaerobic systems to work hard. Now in week four, with even higher intensity training sessions, you'll burn carbohydrate as your primary source of fuel. It's important that you're conscious of providing your body with the fuel required not only to perform but to recover and replenish its stores post-workout. Products such as Rebuild Endurance for after a workout and Prolong During may be great choices this week because they provide you with a carbohydrate boost to help power your workout and help support rapid recovery.